Good afternoon and welcome to Outdoors with John. Today we're at the Stuart B. McKinney National Wildlife Refuge, the first national wildlife refuge set up in the state of Connecticut. Stuart B. McKinney National Wildlife Refuge is only six miles from our campsite at Hammonasset Beach State Park, a perfect ride for me on our new electric scooter. In addition to great views, today we will see two historic structures, the late Reed House and the Enoch Murdoch House. Immediately upon entering the Stuart B. McKinney National Wildlife Refuge, the first structure we see here on our right is a stone structure called the Enoch Murdoch House. This is not their first house, this was probably built in the 1920s. Their first house was probably built in the 1700s. This was a farm here. This area is named Murdoch Hill. And where we are standing is one of the highest points in the town of Westbrook. Guessing this was a well, but it's been filled in for safety reasons. This two-story fieldstone house was built in 1929 for Esther Lape and was co-owned by her partner Elizabeth Reed. The iron railings and the two verandas were salvaged from the old Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City. Esther Lape was a well-known American journalist, researcher, and publicist. She was also one of the founders of the League of Women Voters. Elizabeth Reed was her life partner, personal attorney, and financial advisor. The National Wildlife Refuge is comprised of 10 units stretched across 70 miles of Connecticut's coastline. When originally established in 1972, it was called Salt Meadow National Wildlife Refuge. The refuge was renamed in 1987 to honor late U.S. Congressman Stuart B. McKinney who was instrumental in expanding it. The section of trail we're working on right now is a couple of switchbacks to get down from the top of Murdoch Hill, which is one of the highest points in the town of Westbrook at about 115 feet. Um, we're gonna work our way down to the salt marsh. This Having descended most of the way down towards the marsh, we've come to a junction here. On our left is the main trail and it continues in a loop. But on the right is a short stretch that takes us to a viewing platform. We're going to check out the viewing platform. The view from this platform is fantastic. If you've got a pair of your binoculars, pull them out. If you don't, they've got a, they've got a sight glass here so you can see wildlife on the other side of the Gotchen tree. Great place. Don't miss it. In this area, right past the junction, we have a historic location where Lape and Reed would have lunch on their estate. This st uh, stone structure here was used to keep sandwiches cool. They would put block device in here and it had a lid and you would close it, and that kept things cool. And if you walk just down the trail a few feet over here, we'll see this round uh, stone structure here. In the middle would be a slate table, and they would sit in here and actually have their lunch um, probably not as many trees back here then, and they probably had a beautiful view of the salt marsh where they could enjoy the wildlife. We've come to the northwestern part of the trail. This stretch of the trail follows along, on, follows on the hillside just above the marsh itself. Come to a junction here, we have the blue trail, which will head us back to the uh, house or the parking lot, and we continue here on the green trail. Shortly after the green and, and blue trail intersection, there's a short trail to the right here that brings us to what I believe is a wildlife blind. From the plywood coloring, it looks like this is a fairly recent addition to the wildlife refuge. All right, we've reached another spur trail here. The main trail goes to the left, and there's a bench here. The trail looks like it goes down. I'm guessing it gets to the water, so why not check it out? First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt was a close friend of Esther Lape and Elizabeth Reed. She was a frequent visitor for more than three decades here at the Salt Marsh. The trail here is running right alongside the Amtrak line. Eleanor Roosevelt visited here and she actually took the train here. Back then they didn't have electric wires, it would have been a steam locomotive. But they stopped the train here, which is not a normal stop, so that she could get off and visit her friends Lope and Reed at their Salt Marsh estate. The 
next time you're in the area, I would strongly recommend coming to Stuart B. McKinney National Wildlife Refuge. The place has some beautiful trails that are well maintained, not too hard, but it really has some scenic salt marshes. It has some history here with both the original homestead and farm, as well as the um, estate that they had here. And an interesting fact of having uh, Eleanor Roosevelt visit here. So I would say definitely worth an hour of your time to check this place out. Strongly recommend it. And thanks for joining me today on the hike. Hope to see you out here again soon.